Okay, yes, there we go. Okay, the microphone is working now. There is evidently no such thing as hot swapping in OBS. And I did this assume that I started OBS after it was plugged in. Uh, hello. Let me get the game open. Okay, there we go. Well, I have my Earl Grey tea. There's also wine. I have poured some wine for after the tea. I did not look closely at it because I was in a little bit of a hurry. Hurry. I think it's a Bordeaux. And I'm not tapped into the game. Oh, is that microphone fine? I never did any microphone test. I think my microphone may be okay. I think that's working. Hello, beekeeper. Yes. The alien is not the only threat aboard the space station. Well, thank you for letting me know, beekeeper. Oh, something loud is happening. I am currently sorting out exactly what the situation was that we left off on. There is nothing I can do here that won't be very loud. Was that not, that was not, oh, that was not a viable, viable option. I actually need to refresh my stream monitor. There we go. I will need more than one if I am actually that low on health. Oh, there is an abundance of compound B. Usually the compound B is not there. But it uh, turns out there is a lot of compound B now. Ugh, come on. I did throw and it just, I well one, I walked away to get some more room and it just didn't work, so. I don't think there is any good way to do this. Oh, hello, Bad Road. I am so happy for you. I'm so glad that you found a compound B. I think that Freya Raccoon Cat was playing uh, one of the newer Pokemon games a while ago. Pokemon, I think Pokemon Black. Yes, it was Pokemon Black, not Pokemon White. Anything I use is not going to be a good option. So I am going to point the shotgun at it. Did this not work last time? I have a feeling this did not work last time. I 
If I throw this, will it just blow up in front of me? Oh, there's the alien from Alien. The alien from Alien is very beautiful. Oh, that has never happened before. The distractions can sometimes attract a deadlier threat. So I am going to immediately run to the locker. I'm not allowed to resave. Oh, right. Okay. Well, that's not very helpful. Did nothing happen this time? No, something did happen. Oh, and what's fun is I did initiate something, so I just have to leave. I'm assuming the alien's going to come through that door, otherwise uh, I would not be waiting here. I don't know where the alien is. So I can just leave. They can't stop me. Very good. Now the alien is going to come out here. I don't know where the alien has gone to. This is the first save load that has not featured the alien. Oh, uh, very well. I will just leave. This station is not doing particularly well. I'm surprised the tram actually works. Torrance to Ripley. Ripley, we're about to move into position for the auto umbilical dock sequence. We'll be dark on comms until we've matched the decaying orbit of the station and are in position. We're just waiting on you to extend the towing platform clamps. I don't know how you sweet talk me into this. Very well, I assume it's in there. No, it's in here. Is this... It, it very, very much so, Beekeeper. Through the habitation area, is this access? Access spaceflight terminal through habitation area. This is the spaceflight terminal. These things continuously make noises. It was going to happen. Oh, 
Oh, abandoned station. They're not going to let me. I immediately dodged an encounter. They can't do anything to me now. They've given me everything I need for a health kit just now, uh, which tells me I need to craft and use a health kit. Uh, you know, I actually don't think I was supposed to dodge anything. I think I'm now supposed to interact with the thing that's about to. Yes, there it is. So wait for your synthetic emergency warden. Canteen, thank you. I'm, I'm continuing to act under the, under the assumption that I cannot be visible if I cannot see the alien uh, looking directly in the alien's direction. Oh, there is. Oh, I just noticed that there is things floating. And I, it's not a bug. It's the gravity stabilizers. I'm not checking the map because I'm just assuming that I am being routed in a direction. Okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, Mandonka, we rounded up everyone we could find and are camped out in the rec room. The security system... The security system we discussed is rigged up, but you won't be able to get in the old way. We caught a stranger sneaking in after a couple hours. He confessed who let him in, and we threw them both out. Ooh. We've only got limited space and supplies here, and we've got to control who gets in. If they want in, they've got to bring something to the table. What you need is th in the usual place. I don't want. I don't. I don't want to stay here. But you know, you'll know what I mean. I changed the code to 1984. I'm trying to scroll is ridiculous. Just... It's 1984. I need to look at the map. That's blocked off and I don't know if there is any way, I'm, if I'm actually supposed to go anywhere near there. There was another way, I think. Let me just head back this way. One nine eight four. Perhaps the game did not want me to. Ugh. They should just fight so I can get on with that. Yes, go fight, go fight. They're not going to fight. I'm not even running. Oh, there we go.
Where's the alien going? Oh, the alien's trying to evacuate station. I also can't find the way to go. Well, it's in that direction, so is that a ladder? I'm going to head towards the ladder on my map. Oh, that's not a ladder, that's something else. Hello, Gail. It's lovely to see you. I think that it has to do with how the alien what did I grab? I grabbed a key card for something I don't understand. Uh, well, the alien senses are very much tuned to meat. They do not have eyes. So... Oh, that didn't work. There was not enough flamethrower. I know the password. That's fine. Well, the good news is, is that we saved at some point between there and here. This is fine. Because now I know the speedrun strat. Oh, wait. No, I forgot to do it. And now the alien can't get me from here. So, once I'm in the elevator, I can go to find another elevator and grab the code. It's 1984. I have a key card then, and then I take the key card somewhere. Let me just stand by the door so it doesn't keep shutting. It is literally 1984. You are so right. That's what I say every time I find out something is from 1984. Okay. Torrance to Ripley. Ripley, we're about to move into position. It's a cutscene, so they can't get me. We'll be dark on comms until we've matched the decaying orbit of the station and are in position. We're just waiting on you to extend the towing platform clamps. How you sweet talk me into this. Now, we just do not get detected by the synthetic creature. This is a bad idea. Every time a ship docks an alien, it explodes. It is exactly like helicopters in Resident Evil. I was just thinking that. Well, they're going to see me.
I don't know where to use the key card that they're going to give me. Oh, this is actually an issue. I think this in, the, the synth over there is coming for me. I don't know if that helped anything. Did that help? I don't know. I am just going to get my key card. I have the passcode. You have no way of knowing that I don't. It said passcode required, but I did. I do know the passcode. They did not change it. Orbital stabilizer failure. That would be unrealistic. See, it is literally 1984. I don't know where they want me to take the key card. I do have it though. Is there a save terminal somewhere here? Where I started, okay. Suppose I can make another milk bomb. No, I cannot make another smoke bomb. So noisemaker, no. So I have a gun, and that's it. Oh, actually, I don't have enough ammo for this. The flamethrower actually doesn't work anymore. Not effectively. I think I could speedrun this if I just do the shooting on the synthetic first. I also... I think they do like it. That's the trouble. Seven flamethrower. That is not enough anymore. Hello, Andy. It is very good to have it on at the same time. Oh, perhaps I should watch an alien tonight. I should watch, uh, rewatch an alien tonight. 
Hi. There are th the first three movies are on our media server. I really like the first two. I don't think the third one is bad. I just really like the first two. I think that the end of two would have made a lot more sense. <laughs> oh, so now I can save the game again and we don't have to do this again. So what I do need to do is watch whatever comes after Alien Cubes. I don't know if it's four. I have to look up if there was ever a four or if they just kept appending things to the title. Did they? Is that the fourth one? I would not be surprised. I would love to see the new one. You're not going to look in the alien egg and the other says no way. That is, yes. See, you could not uh, do a horror film today that involved a character looking into an alien egg because if a character in a film saw an alien egg they would say this is just like alien from alien we cannot look in the alien egg I am excited to see the new alien film. I I know absolutely nothing about it. Oh, so it was one of those appended titles. So they really didn't do forever. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, so I was very much right, it seems. Oh, and Alien Romulus comes between 1 and 2, I think. Alien Covenant, yes. But no, uh, Alien uh, Romulus is a prequel to one of them, either 2 or 3, I forgot which one. They have a name for those, I think, when the prequel comes out after the third. I think, uh, maybe they're still called prequels. Well, no. I think I need to start this out first. Oh, you have to put them in first. I feel like that was too far. Oh, a pre-sequel. <laughs> okay, my items are full, and I also need to craft a med kit. There is a... I can get parts for a, for a new med kit in here. I don't. So, if I'm remembering correctly, so there is a series of movies that are the Predator movies, correct? Because I think I have perhaps seen one. 
And then the Alien vs. Predator was a kind of crossover film. Oh, we once watched a John Wick. And a John Wick is exactly what you imagine a John Wick to be, it turns out. It wasn't even on purpose. Did I save? I don't think I saved anything. That is true, it is fun. It is mostly just watching Keanu Reeves kill a bunch of people <laughs> for the entirety of the movie. You know, that is definitely Keanu Reeves's whole um, type cast is going into a film and killing a bunch of people. I, did, I assume I need these. It has not been made clear to me that I do. So what I want to know is where am I supposed to use this key card they've given me? There is a save spot. I am going to save. Oh, that's hilarious. So they're very inconsistent. Perhaps I'll go and watch a Predators movie. <laughs> it is very unclear what I'm supposed to do with this card. And that vent does nothing. Actually, let me go and walk around the other room again. And see if there's something in there I need to know about. Hello, Fib. It's lovely to see you. Oh, that's perfectly fine. So avoid Predator 2. Oh, you can see me? I used up my entire flamethrower. There is certainly somewhere they want me to plug this key card into. Actually, let me finish reading the notes. There is more information in the notes, presumably. We need to make sure you've got the supplies you promised us, but ch we'll check you upon entrance. I'm back with the supplies, but I'm locked out. It's getting worse out here. They don't know where it is. I did throw the whole flame. I have nothing to do about the alien now. This is not a drill. <laughs> Presumably there's something going on here. Can I press something? This is probably where they want me to go. 
Oh, what's that? Is that is that something I can do? Well, I can throw a Molotov. I think that is an option. Oh, never mind. See, the save point is now there, so that's fine. I don't understand how this game has had their aiming coded. Because generally, oh, the alien's an alien. That is absolutely a event trigger. I very regularly think about that specific quote. I appreciate the ability to make problems disappear and alternate them with an another more different problem. So in the case of this, I it makes sense that the event trigger, the trigger event, I can't just crouch and sit there. I think I need to just go backwards. I also can't run because if I run, the alien comes out. Oh, we're going to have an issue. I think my synthetic emergency warden has had a malfunction. There is a cabinet, thank you. I'll just go into the cabinet. There's that cabinet. Where is the nearest cabinet? That is the nearest cabinet. Okay. Oh, there's one. Thank you. See, the game doesn't... The game's events... Well, the new problem was that the Molotov cocktail went off on me. That synth had bolt gun ammo. I've never, I do not use the bolt gun because it takes forever to use. <laughs> That is so, what is so true about this is that the alien cannot get you if you are on fire, because the alien stays away from fire. Evacuate station. This is not the drill. Well, that was X'd out, so never mind. I would have liked to see the entertainment room. Oh, we are actually very close to the space dog. Yes, exactly bad road. I don't know that. But I do, I do appreciate the, I do appreciate the, uh, what's the word, the concept, the advice, perhaps. Oh, there's a save point. Okay, very good. Well, if I need to find an alternate route, that means I just go in here. Let's 
someone put a hitbox, a collision box, around that dead body. And is this... I guess that is where we're supposed to go. There is actually not much in the entertainment room. Generator operational, no. I don't... See, the bolt gun is not helpful. I can't use the bolt gun. Let me practice the bolt gun. Oh, there's no bolts in the bolt gun. It is a very good sound. They did a wonderful job at the sound design for this game. It does. Did you know that this game was given a significant amount of materials, creative materials from the Alien film? Let me look that up very quickly because it does list how many gigabytes of material they give, gave to the studio to make this video game. Okay, so they were given three terabytes of original production material, including costume photography, concept art, set design, behind-the-scenes photos, videos, and the film's original sound effect recordings. They say the artist John McKellen recalled it was a proper gold mine. We saw angles of things that we'd never seen before. It really does. They got all of the alien from aliens angles. I have to put the bolt gun away. The bolt gun is not useful. Yes, a very highly angular lady. I said angles. But the alien from Alien does also have lovely ankles. Oh, so I only have the bolt gun. That's very nice. Okay, so I have to use the flamethrower. See, that is something that we don't, uh, we have, we have not vocalized appreciation for enough because we have talked about the alien from Alien's tail quite a lot. The alien from Alien does have wonderful legs as well. Oh, there's a story. I feel like there has been something put into this area. Oh yes, the alien from Alien is here. Um, so if I use this key card...
Where did the alien go? Did something scare? I think something may have scared them. I'm going to very quickly activate this generator. Oh, that is that is operational already. Okay. What exactly was that connected to? Oh, this door here. Mm -hmm. Let me just take a look at the map. So, well, to find another way there, I think I just need to. I'm just going to continue going in another direction until I find something. Oh no, this is completely fine. Don't worry. Also, welcome, Destiny. This is my strategy, where I go hide around computer consoles. I would love to save the game. I don't want to save here, but if I don't, I'll be sent back. Ugh. Now the alien's already coming back. Oh, I made a noise. I don't think it mattered, though. So I can save, or the alien gets me. That's not going to lock, so let me keep going. Oh, this is a very worrying hallway on the way back. The games room. Oh, this is a safe zone. The game revealed its secrets to me by telling me that there was no hostiles nearby. Something has happened. There was absolutely a hostile nearby. Anyway, where is my... After 
The game very much did lie to me. That was... They were very explicit. They were not... Oh, I see, Andy, yes. The alien from Alien was not registered as a hostile. I don't have enough flamethrower. I can't do anything about this. That's something they never tried in the films. They never try to hug the alien. Oh, this happens again. So it takes three um, hits to actually send the alien off. Well, that's terrible news. Oh, well, yes, I've never seen Alien Resurrection, so I actually... Yes, that is one I would not un know about hugging in. No. Oh, right. They are called face huggers, aren't they? So yes, actually Alien, the Alien series is extremely hug-based. Hugs are a core part of the Alien films. So is that an event I can't avoid or am I just doing very bad at, am I just being very bad at avoiding it? Oh, I love how they move. We can go watch them. Oh, they're here in this room with me. So I actually really need to save the flamethrower ammo. Oh, so I see. I understand now. They're trying to trick me. The developers are trying to trick me into d using the fire. So is anyone else noticing that the motion tracker is breaking? I don't know if that is what is happening. There must be just a lot of smoke in the air. That would be very accurate because the game has repeatedly had things break very intentionally. I will say that there is a graphic in the game that shows them not working when you're in the vents. 
you do see a lot of ghosts. Or sometimes you'll look at this and there'll be a ghost and particle. Alien is right behind me, so I need to, so I can actually demonstrate how it doesn't work. Is that real? No, that's not real. Um, no, that is real, and it is flickering out and off. Guess the carpet property is always doing this. And now I can restart the generator through the vents. Oh, I see. Ugh. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, okay. Yes. So the alien from Alien can enter the vents. I don't know how I was detected there. I think the alien may be understanding what I'm doing now. They are so slinky. <clears throat> Uh, before that happened, though, I was going to say I think that my joints are getting picked up by the mic. to go follow the alien. I am just very slowly following along. I don't have my flashlight on. That is intentional. Oh, does that still work? Am I still allowed to do that? Oh, that does still work. Does that make noise? Can I just go through the door, or is that closed? No, that's open. There is a bit of a layering issue I've seen here. What is this that they have... Oh, that's why I can see it through the walls, because it's my... So, the way games do this and let you see it in front of you without clipping through the things uh, directly in front of you is because they have it always visible, because if it wasn't always visible to your camera, it would be going through this right now. No, is that worthy? Is that worthy? Yes, that's the generator. I don't know why my flamethrower is floating there, but it does seem to have retained the properties of a flamethrower. Have you seen me, or is this some kind of elaborate trick? Oh no, that was very visible. So they have... This is very interesting. So 
a trouble with the horror video games is they sometimes they will give you a item that makes your experience with the main horror elements more pointless. Like the flamethrower essentially makes it so you don't have to worry about the alien. This is making it so that I cannot actually rely on the flamethrower. Because not only does it not work half the time- Whoa. I did not expect the alien to go across. I, so I can not only expect the flamethrower to not always work. It takes more ammo when it does work. And apparently the alien can see me through my terrible, terrible hiding spots that were working previously in the game. I'm so happy for them. They are learning. So let's get the lever here. You know, I could just try saving again. Oh no, they don't want me to. Yes, so in any position where I can see the alien, it's a problem now. That's an issue because I've been looking directly at the alien for most of the game. You know, it's actually, I should verify this before we get too far into the game. I need to verify whether uh, there's a microphone pickup. Because that was very popular in 2014, I think. I feel like that was a thing. I don't see it, so I'm assuming it's not a problem. So I don't want to use my flashlight because I am... At the, if I use my flashlight, the alien will find me. Yes. Uh, games at one point loved to make it so your microphone would pick up. Oh, that's there forever. That was a feature I want to say it was in the game, but I also don't remember if it could have been a mod or something, so... I want to say it's not on because I have been talking towards the alien a lot and not been caught. Oh, it may have just been Xbox Connects. Might have been a little Xbox gimmick. The thing about those features is they're extremely they they're extremely non-immersive. They love game companies love doing them. But because they like they think that they make them more immersive. They just make you conscious of the fact that you're not in a video game. This was on Connects.
that the alien is just outside waiting. The alien is stalking, is like protecting the generator. So that little speck is the alien. This is an issue. Oh, right, the alien can open the vents. That's adorable. I don't remember what you're supposed to do about this in Dead by Daylight. I remember Dead by Daylight. That was that was a video game. We watched a... Oh, okay. We watched... Oh, no, that is not... The alien's faster than me in the vents. Dead by Daylight... I remember watching that. I think the game still exists. The alien's head is so shaped. The alien is such a lovely dragon. Everyone is being so mean to the alien. Oh, I know, Andy. I've been thinking so much about how the alien is a dragon. The alien in Alien 3 is named the dragon. That's so wonderful. I forgot about that. That's what I've heard about Dead by Daylight. I've heard that everyone hates it now. These rooms are rather similar and it is a bit of an issue. I still don't understand how these generators have the CO2 warning on them in a space station. I am guessing that there is a very high rate of exchange, air exchange in the station. So the vents are no longer safe. They weren't. <laughs> the alien at any point could go into the vents. I've never seen the alien stand outside near the objective and then come into the vents without any prompt. That is rather new. Oh, this music is lovely. I have to be much more proactive here. If I wait, the alien comes in the vents. If I stay here... Oh, this is a trouble. So that's what I was thinking. Oh, I have the parts for it now. I have one sensor. I did not have a sensor before. 
So I could not make a noisemaker. Now is my chance. Oh, that. Okay, so putting a noisemaker outside of the vent is a. Uh, the alien goes into the vent if you have a noisemaker outside of the vent. <laughs> so this is actually not frustrating to play. This is very engaging. Well, that may have just been a bad... I turned on the flashlight. No, we're fine. Okay. This is actually a rather engaging puzzle. Can I just do this? Oh no, that, that, no, so that did make sense. It makes sense that I couldn't just do that directly next to the alien. Okay, now don't do that this time. So if I make a noisemaker preemptively, that would be great. Oh, it is. It is, Gale. Very much so. I think the alien may have just gone to another part of this... Oh, yes. That is exactly how I am feeling, Andy. But it's very much a puzzle currently. It honestly kind of feels like maybe they should have geared the alien in this way from the beginning. Though that would make it more difficult. That may have been an issue. Yes, this is it. I was, yes, it does make a lot more sense that this would happen now. The game would not have the same feel it does now without it being on a delay. Oh, and this is more than 12 hours because we docked on a station. Oh, whoops. Oh, look at that. That is very fun. The alien actually paused for a moment there when I pulled out the flamethrower. That is very good. Oh, see, most games get worse near the end. This is wonderful. That definitely made noise. Yes, I'm just going to remain in my field of view. Now what will be very funny is when we leave the area, seeing if it actually unloads the gun with the level. I don't know how they make games now. That vent is going to give away my position. I do have the noisemaker and that could be done fast. If I'm more careful, this could be fine. I know exactly what's going to happen here. I need to use the noisemaker. Oh, 
No, the alien just went through the vents to go on the other side of the room. And I did almost throw the noisemaker directly at the alien because of it. Oh, that was rather worrying. This is not a functional hiding spot. Oh, this is risky. Now, which way do I need to hide in? This way. Very good. Oh, the flamethrower was out of ammo. I was trying to do something where I would sneak behind the alien, but the tail was in the way, so I went the wrong way. It was I probably could have gone the other way. Okay, um... Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I may have caused- I may- no, I thought I caused an issue. Should I just run? That seems like a bad idea. I should have been hiding instead of running around. They are so long. I, oh, I, I very much appreciate that about them. You have to be very careful in this section. So I assume I restore the generator and then go to that door I was trying to open. There are so many alien noises in here. The alien from Alien just wants to evacuate. See, that's why the alien is in this section. The alien wishes to evacuate. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Well, the alien does not know that. I'm going to run to the section I need to be in. Oh, I didn't make the noisemaker.
Oh, thank you very much, Andy. That is a very good quote. I'm assuming that the noise from the noisemaker will block out what I'm doing. Now, if I go in there, that's a bad idea, correct? I'm in the light. This is not good. This is not going to work because I am directly under an overhead light. Oh, good. That, that did work. Did I make another noisemaker? Oh, I do have a Molotov. I don't know how useful or applicable this is to the situation. Oh, actually, it's a very active. Oh, I, I was in the vent. I feel like I should not have died there. That would have worked fine as a distraction. Then I would have been able to leave through the other side. The Molotovs have not been particularly useful in this game. I don't know why I keep trying to use them. Throughout the entire game, it does not work on the synthetics, and they mock you when you use them. The alien, perhaps, it does work. The trouble is, is that if you throw it, you just do things to yourself. They have been. And you are correct, they detect from heat and scent primarily. I believe I was talking about the alien not having eyes earlier. So that's I completely something I apparently completely forgot just for a moment. Okay. Oh, no. No. So if I leave now, it may be an issue. Because I don't have enough time if the alien decides to exit the room. Oh, I've been spotted. Oh, they're sneaking. Oh, I really- I, so the problem was, if I do it that close, I need to have spare health, and I did not use my, um, med kit. Okay, um... Yes, yeah, exactly bad road. I don't know why we have them. There is not in any in any way an armored vehicle up here. Oh, my health points are actually fine. Okay. Something may have happened to them at some point. The Xenomorph Morph may be an arm armor armored vehicle. I think that is correct. Oh, you know, that is correct. The ships do. Ships and space stations are armored. That does count. There have been ships. So in total, in total, there's been two ships so far. And they are both presumably armored. I would say so, yes.
Oh, it's a third this time. There we go. So how much can I run after that before it becomes a problem? I wish I could pick up my flamethrower. So this is a problem. I, if I use the noisemaker, I can't leave with the noisemaker. I only have one. I may need to not waste my flamethrower fuel immediately. I will need it for the next half of this mission. This I need to keep for the next bit of the mission. Actually, I may want to use the noisemaker first. It would make more sense to use the noisemaker first and then save the flamer fuel. Just so you can run. Because the issue is, is that I need to do something and then run. And the noisemaker doesn't help with that very much. Okay, and now where is the alien? Oh, that's bad, actually, at this point in the game. Uh, no, that means that the alien is coming out through another hole right now. Oh, that's fine, actually. Well, no, it may be an issue. No, it's fine. That's the wrong hole. You should have chosen that one over there. And I can save immediately after this, but that's probably not very wise. I did hear my thing just beep. Oh, that is fine. That is good enough. That's exactly what needed to happen. There is no good way to do this. See, no, I... The second it comes up, no, don't switch to whatever the hell that is. I don't know how the game switched to the bolt gun that doesn't do anything. Because there was flamer fuel in there, I don't know if it would have been enough. Let me make that again so I can do the same thing. Oh. 
If I could just do this again, that would be great. I think the game knows what I'm doing, though. And is actively trying to prevent me from doing it. Oh, that's worrying. So the alien is not- oh no, there's the alien. Am I far enough away to just stand up and leave? They do. How much can I- how far can I take this? Oh, not very far. I was going to see what happens if I start walking towards the alien. And the answer is the alien starts walking towards you and then you have to start walking backwards, which means the alien has won. It is very good. It does feel very- it feels like it was designed like that. I want to say that the alien is one of the most creatures to ever have been designed. I feel like it'd be very hard to find something that is more creature. Yes, definitely one of the creatiest. The vent is trying to give away my position. Oh, and going in the vents used to be a safe move to do. The game is very well established that you go into the vents when you're about to be discovered. The trouble is, is that doesn't work here. And if you go in there, you have to do a standoff. No, 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 I threw a noisemaker. You have to go find the noisemaker. That's what they never show in the alien films. They never show the alien vaping. The I make. Actually, there is other things I could make. I could make a smoke bomb. But the smoke bomb does not... I don't know if that impedes the alien. The smoke bomb may be for everything that is not an alien. I do want to see the alien vaping. I think that would be a lovely art piece. I feel I feel as if leaving now would be a bad idea. Yeah. 
so I did not expect to do that. I need to craft a med kit so I can do that one more time. Because I do have a feeling that's going to happen again. This is not a useful hiding spot. So the alien may be rather close. I had no idea. So that's never happened. I don't, I had no idea what that would even look like. Yes, that was very good. I love how the alien is always sneaking around. Oh, the alien's just leaving. Okay. I would really love to get to a safe point at some other portion. So that would make it a lot easier to redo this. I have never done that before. I wanted to see if you could still hide again, and I think potentially yes. I think you potentially can, but you have to get away very fast. There we go. Now, there is the noisemaker. I've said I still have to craft that. The alien has m improved at sneaking, I feel. The game does do a event trigger when you hit that. There is no way the game does not do an event trigger the second before that comes up. So I do have one smoke bomb. Yes, very much so. This game is all about isolation. Oh, that I actually didn't know it wasn't possible. See, this is fine. Now I have a save point that's closer, and technically I can just duck.
I am very curious about the smoke bomb. Well, that certainly made a noise. I don't know if that's particularly helpful to me that it made a very loud bang. The smoke may actually obscure the heat detection. Shit. The aliens should be distracted by the noisemaker unless my running did something. Do you think the game was designed to give you an animation for dying immediately after you save? That would be terrible. <laughs> imagine it resets your save at that point because you can't do anything. They should. That would be very funny for a horror. I think that would take the horror to the, ne to the next level to have an animation that specifically does the game save and then you die immediately as your animation uh, ends. Oh, yes, I would say that that would make sense to have one right before, at the very least. Sebastopol, this is Diane Verlaine of the Torrents. I am attempting to dock on the tow platform below your space flight terminal. We can take survivors. Let's just go, because I heard something. There we go. Very good. Oh, they may not be uh, always be as safe as I think. The vents. I don't know why it is so hard to avoid fire. Oh, very good. That was a safe point. They have made it very quiet in this section. I don't know how the seats are on fire. Very interesting. There's just burning debris everywhere. I 
And is that perhaps where I need to go? Well, I do want to depart. That is that much I do know. So I am going to head towards departures. Oh, never mind. I do not want to depart. I can run. I'm just very worried about running. That was what I was thinking, Bad Road, but clearly the game here does not want me to depart. And that did say all departures, so... Oh great, the end of the game. Let's get down there. Nothing's going to happen. Oh wow, nothing did happen. Ooh, free the Torrens, complete the 17th mission. That's what I'm always saying, Gail. Is the window open? The window is open. There's a plane outside. I do need to say really quick, though. Is there somewhere I can respond? Lillian, can you hear yes. Me? Are you close enough for radio contact? I'm here. Rexy, thank God, I hear you. I need you to extend the dog cradle plants quickly. There are two. Should be close by. Oh, there's nothing there. Oh, no. Your eyes were on, weren't they? Okay, now access terminal. The utility is locked. Oh, there they are. Let me go find those. Oh, the alien from Alien is here. Oh, the alien from Alien. They have such lovely claws. Now, I think I can actually try doing something before that happens. Verlaine, can you hear me? Are you close enough for radio contact? I'm here! Rexy, thank God, I hear you! I need you to extend the dog cradle plants quickly. There are two. Should be close by. <laughs> Oh, whoops. That's going to uh, delay me. Okay, now there should be one more computer here. Oh, there seems to be a power issue. Oh, 
Oh, that's much better than what I was thinking it was going to be. Has the alien come out yet? Okay. Now I assume the uh, other computer there will now no longer be locked. The alien is right there, and I don't know exactly where. The alien is consistently directly on top of me, and I don't know what to do about that. The upper control room was, I assume, just where I was. Yes, that is the case. And the alien can't get me in here, probably. Oh, I can't actually go all the way up. There are save points that I could have used. Oh, this station is not doing well. I cannot confirm that all Sevastopol systems are operational. Wonderful. Now... Okay. So, the airlock was... Yes, I was going directly there. There's actually a save point directly next to it. Oh, it's a separate room. I feel as if I'm missing something. Where is the... Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. I just may need to go out and up the stairs again. Okay, very, very well. Let's keep going. Is this the right way? 
I'm guessing perhaps because I did encounter the alien. Oh no, I was low on health. Let's try that one more time, and this time I'm going to see if I can find where the airlock is. Okay. No, I don't think there's any airlock down here. It's somewhere upstairs that I'm not seeing. <laughs> they are giving me a lot of flamer flamethrower fuel. I just need to do this, then extend the clamp, and then go upstairs. Oh yes, this whole entire station is very inefficiently designed. It is so unclear where the alien is. It was almost certainly because they were not doing anything uh, better than cheap. Okay, upstairs, airlock. I don't know if the Torrens knows about the alien from Alien. That is unclear. Perhaps actually no. We may have contacted the Torrens about an organism on the station. Let's look at this map. I think there's perhaps somewhere in the middle here that can go down. No, I do have to go back down, I think. Especially since the alien was here. When they say hostiles nearby, they mean directly here.
Oh, that is actually a bit of a worry, isn't it? There are two lights on this motion tracker in separate spaces. This is a reference to Aliens, the second Alien movie. interesting <laughs> though I don't think that's actually where I need to be I think I need to go down one more that was where I was they did they made many additional aliens oh I can't go down the alien knew that too the alien knew I couldn't go down Yes, the alien has tricked me, and now I need to restart. So, the airlock, I seriously do not know. I think it's on the second floor, and we're going to try looking on the second floor. It's potentially, there's potentially three. No, there's two. No one was down here. Quickly pressing Q really does bad things, like switching to the bolt gun. So I am trying to avoid pressing Q unless I really need to. Actually, I may be able to go underneath here, and that would be much easier for what I'm trying to do. There are so many aliens from Alien up there. Oh, this actually is the airlock. Good. I did not see any of this when I came down here the first time. I'm not going to say that that would be worth the risk to not use the flamethrower. It seems pretty likely that I was going to be detected at some point. Oh no, I have to... I am going to lose that save. Oh, there it is, except it wasn't in relation to the save spots. I actually did save earlier, so that's doable. I just need to get back down, which does take a while.
Oh, the alien spotted me. Oh, right. There are more than one. <laughs> How much is left? Because I need to know whether I should stop here or I should continue. Oh, I think so as well. Okay, there are two more missions, 18 and 19. I'm currently on 18. So yes, this is actually a decent place to stop. Let me just load the save. Yes, very good. This will be good. I do want to finish the game. And hopefully that will be a next stream. If not, it will be another stream. Let me just get on the sign off screen here. Oh yes, I looks it looks like there is very little left. Thank you for coming, everyone, and thank you for coming, Gail. I don't think there's any kind of raid to do tonight. Oh, and the raid menu is terrible now, so that's not fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, of course. And I'd love to show you the alien from Alien uh, yet another time next time. But that'll be all for now. Oh, I love you too. Thank you for coming. And I hope everyone has a good night.